What's up, this is Jad T. Jones, and in this video, we're gonna talk about how to deal with women's last minute resistance. Resistance simply means you're, you're trying to seduce a girl, and then you go in for the kiss and she stops, or maybe you're making out, but then when it comes to sex, she stops you, or maybe she just gives you resistance in general, such as when you're trying to text her, or get her out on a date, or, and so forth. So, uh, this came about because I had a conversation with a guy a few days ago, and he was telling me how he was getting a lot of resistance from women, right? So he was able to make a good first impression, he was able to get their numbers, he was able to take them out on dates, but then after that, things would start going downhill. So, with some women, they would start giving him resistance when he tried to escalate things physically, tried to go in for a kiss, you know, they would resist. Or maybe they would kiss him, but then when it came to like more intense making out or sex, they would give him resistance. Or some women would go out with him a first time, but then when it came to a second or third date, again, they would have resistance. So in this guy's mind, the game is played, um, his reality is that women give resistance, and then we as men have to uh, overcome that resistance and work through that resistance and so forth. So what I told him was this, I said, hey bro, uh, in my life, in my reality, I don't deal with last minute resistance. There is no uh, resistance from women. So what I wanna point out to you is that this resistance is a sign that you're doing something wrong beforehand, okay? So this is the thing we're gonna talk about, you and I together in this video, all right? So if you're getting last minute resistance from women, that is not the cause that you need to focus on directly. That is a symptom, okay, a symptom of a mistake you're making before, which is then leading her to have that resistance, okay? So I'll give an analogy so you can understand what I'm saying. But just to repeat, in my life, I, I never really deal with resistance with women because I'm doing the, I'm, I'm getting the fundamentals right. And so when it comes time to kiss, to escalate, to get sexual, whatever, everything just flows naturally because I did things right at the beginning, right? So if you're getting resistance, you did something wrong beforehand, the resistance itself isn't what you need to stop and focus on. Okay, so point number one that you need to understand is that last minute resistance is a symptom, all right? It is a symptom, not a root cause. It is a symptom. What does a symptom mean? For years, I've struggled with lower back pain. All right, and for years I was afraid to go to a chiropractor or anything because I heard stories that you know they do something to your back and they make it worse. So for years I didn't get it checked out, and so I thought I have back pain. I thought the cause of my pain was my bad back. Well, last year finally uh, I found a trainer who I trusted enough to kind of you know check me out and, and work with me. And what I discovered is that I have a perfectly healthy lower back, but the pain was being caused by my tight hamstrings. The hamstrings are the back part of your leg. So the tight hamstrings were, are pulling down on my back, causing unnecessary stress on my back, which is causing the pain in my lower back. But again, so the back pain is a symptom of tight hamstrings. You understand what I'm saying? So the back pain wasn't the problem, the hamstrings and also the, the glutes, the muscles around the glutes and that stuff. So basically other things, well, weak muscles, tight muscles in different areas, then caused the back pain. So similarly speaking, when, if you're uh, getting resistance from women, it is because there are multiple things you are doing beforehand incorrectly that are then causing resistance to happen. So the resistance itself isn't the problem. Once you fix the fundamentals, then you will stop experiencing last minute resistance with women. So now we tackle the question, why, are, why is last minute resistance happening with me? Here are some possible root causes. Remember, women's core need is the need to feel safe, okay? Women's core need is the need to feel safe. So, if you do not fulfill that core need properly and completely, then when it comes time for her to open up more to you, 
open up physically, mentally, emotionally. At that time, if she's not feeling 100% safe, that's when something in her mind, something in her heart says, beep, 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 something's not right here. And then she starts putting up that resistance. Okay. So if you're getting last minute resistance from women or resistance in general, this means that you are not doing a good enough job at making women feel safe. Now, there are different aspects of how to make a woman feel safe. All right. You need to make her feel safe. Number one, in regards to, uh, she needs to trust you and know that you're being honest with her and that you have pure intentions that you're not trying to trick her or manipulate her or use her or any of those things. So you need to make sure you need to, um, observe your game and honestly ask yourself, Am I being manipulative towards women? Am, do I have ill intentions toward them? Do, are they justified to not feel safe with me? Because in fact, my secret hidden agenda is to manipulate them and use them. Okay. So that's one thing you need to look at. And then another thing is more concern, uh, more in regards to your dark side and the dark side and having a dark alpha masculine presence. That's what we teach in my 12 week program. You can check that out at jattjones.com. But this dark masculine presence, that's also a, a piece that a lot of guys are missing that if she does not feel that you're a powerful motherfucker, that you have this, this power and dominance coming out from you. So, so that if she's hanging out with you, you're going to protect her, that you can get shit done, that you are showing up in the world as a powerful man. If she does not feel that you are inside your power, then again, she's not going to feel safe with you. And then she's going to put up those, those blocks, right? So that's why the nice guy faces a lot of resistance because a woman doesn't feel his raw masculine warrior power. And so she feels like he's a bit too weak, too insecure, too unsure of himself. And so she can't feel safe with him because, uh, he doesn't feel like this powerful entity that's going to protect her. Right? So, uh, if, if you're facing a lot of last minute resistance, you're probably coming across, uh, maybe too shy too too, uh, insecure, uh, weak, timid, soft, too nice, you know, kind of like a pushover, that kind of thing. All right. And I can help you with that stuff. You can join my coaching, go to jadtjones.com. Um, you know, you gotta, you gotta strengthen, you gotta get your confidence back, right? You gotta show up powerfully. You gotta demonstrate to women that you're a powerful, bad motherfucker, right? If they're not feeling that power from you, if they're not feeling that strength, then they're not going to feel safe enough to open up. And when they don't feel safe, instead of opening up, they close off. And that's when you're getting that resistance. So the problem started at the fundamental level of you not fulfilling the number one need you need to fulfill in order to get women, which is her core primary need to feel safe. If you're not making women feel safe, ain't nothing gonna happen, brother. All right. Nothing's gonna happen if you don't fulfill her primary need first. So you need to serve that primary need first, make her trust you and make her feel like you're this powerful, masculine force of nature. That's what women are looking for. All right. So that's why you're experiencing last minute resistance. If you want to solve this up your confidence, up your, um, your alpha male kind of presence, um, up your power, your inner power, believe in yourself, project that outward, and also make sure that women know that you have their, your, their best intentions at heart. Once again, if you need my help, jump over to Jad T Jones, go to the coaching tab. You can join our programs. We help you out with this. Thanks for watching. Take care.